Alright. That never happened. You saw nothing. So you can clearly see... All is good in the world. Okay. So. I'm hollowed now. Did you see her? That virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow? They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about a lady for a lifetime. Yeah. Maybe I'll go chat with them. Have you been to the ruins of New Londo below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two, unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> yeah, I'm all too familiar with those ghosts. How did that old man make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. What old man? Oh, have you seen that terribly morose lass? The fire keeper. She's stuck keeping that bonfire lit. Sad, really. She's mute and bound to this forsaken place. They probably cut her tongue out back in her village, so that she'd never say any god's name in vain. How do these martyrs keep chugging along? I'd peter out in an instant. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm not a Okay, so he's got the same. What old man is he talking about? It's not old man Logan, is it? Or is he talking about the pyromancer? He doesn't seem that old. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancer in a great swamp, so I can use the man with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magic's unsavory. No? Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, let's get started right now. I'm not going to use pyromancies, but it's nice to have. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> a pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of him. A pyromancer's flame. Yep, alright. So now back over here. Yep, these people have now shown up. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates. But I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Hmm. Rhea is the youngest... Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Hmm? What have we here? 
You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Sorry, man. I took a, I took a small fall. Don't worry about it. Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. I'm not asking you to abandon them. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catacombs aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again. Rarier Knox. Rarier Knox. What does that mean? Oh, it's you. We're to the rarier. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. Cool. Really? It's good to know. Good talk. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Hmm. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Rude. Okay. So we're going to do one thing real quick. We're going to head back to the Undead Asylum, which you can do, if you didn't know. And there is a boss there, but we're not going to fight him yet. We're not ready. We are instead going to pick up a few items that we are going to need. So. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought I was going to die there. Alright. So you're just going to get over here and get this key. That's how we get in to the area that we need. And what we need to do now is climb all the way up here. And pretend to be an egg. And after a couple of seconds, uh, the bird will pick us up and take us back. So, I'll see you guys there. And we have returned to the Northern Undead Asylum. And these guys, there are a lot of new people here to fight. You still gotta be careful with these guys. Oh, I thought he was still coming. Okay. I think I grabbed the soul down there before. Something else that you can now do, if you come over here, these are the crows that you can off some trades with I think you can drop this and if you quit out the game and come back uh, something new will be there I don't really remember what it is I'll probably do it by the end of this part don't walk in the middle no matter what you do do not do it that is where the boss is we are not ready to fight him they can walk out in the middle, we can't. So. See, you can hear him right there. We're gonna rest really quickly here. And we're gonna come back up here and reunite with good old Oscar, who is now hollowed out, unfortunately. But he has a shield that will help us fight the boss in this area when we do it. 
Come on out, Oscar. I really like his armor set, but I don't remember how to get it. Ah. Don't try and kick his shield. It won't work. And we got the backstab. As you can see, his armor weighs him down. So we got him. And we got his crest shield. Um, now we can... Uh, go back in these previous areas and there will be black knights in the area. There's one right there. I didn't see him and it scared the crap out of me. Go back to the tactic of backstabbing them. You can uh, parry them. Though I'm still not very good at it. I'm gonna, I'll try it. As you can tell, I'm not good at it. But I can do it. Nope. Bam. Got him. And he gave me a red titanite chunk, which is not bad. I can trade it with Framp later, and I'll get titanite shards out of it. Eventually. Actually survive that. <laughs> Alright. Now we need to go down here real quick. Get the other Black Knight and an item for an area that I'm not gonna be going to. But you can if you want. I don't like the area very much. It is the painted world, which I'm not a fan of. That's the boss right there, by the way. I'll show you when we kill this guy. <laughs> and he is now locked in a backstab. Oh, I missed him. another red titanite chunk. We did not get their shield, which is what I wanted. But we did get the peculiar, peculiar doll. Blah, I can't talk. Okay. That's him right there. That's the stray demon. It's just like the asylum demon, except he's got some AoE magic attacks. And uh, he's a lot harder. We will not fight him until we get a plus 10 weapon. He will be much easier then. But by that time, we will have a new weapon. And... Hopefully a better shield. And maybe some armor that we will be switching in and out of. That boulder's still back. So watch out. I think you can find Oscar up here. I never have. He probably dropped a broken sword. Yep. Now, though, in here, there are two guys. One of them is the same as before. Easy to take down. This guy, same tactic as before. And they're dead. Okay, that was kind of strange. <laughs> and here we got the rusted iron ring, which will be very useful when we get the blight town. Because it's a swampy area with, you know, it's a swamp, basically. And if you read the ring's uh, description, uh, those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find that it's easier to gain footing on poor ground, such as swamps. 
so it's going to be very useful. It will basically allow us to run fast on, uh, like in deep water. So, yeah, that's basically all we came here for. See how much damage that does? If you get hit by that whole thing, it will kill you. I thought that hit him. This guy's dead. You're dead! I'm dead! Oh my gosh! Oh. Okay. That was me being extremely careless and it almost got me killed. Alright, I will see you guys back at Firelink. I'm going to quit out and get this item, and I'll let you know what it was in the next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I... Oh. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!